descended from across the country and literally running over steeples and hedges. And there's some class men in this field too. a steeplechase these days you usually think of Kenyans and Moses Kiptanui the world record holder is definitely not running here some pretty good men all the same Patrick Sang Olympic champion Olympic silver medalist rather from Barcelona is in the field taking it out number 297 from France Bruno Couton We've had some fast steeplechases this season. Last weekend in Rome, Stefan Brandt of Germany ran 8.17.77. Of course, I say fast, that's by comparison with Moses Kiptanui having the world record of 8.02.08 in Zurich last year. Couton for France, coming up to the barrier. Then it's uh, from Poland, Henrik Jankowski, 2.39. 229 from Morocco, Abdelaziz Zaher, a good all-rounder, good 1500 man, about 336 is best for 15. And Couton in the lead and Jankowski look as if they've been engaged to get a fast time for the way they're checking and dovetailing. Zaher of Morocco in third. Patrick Sang, Olympic silver medalist, following in the blue top, and behind him another Kenyan, Julius Kariuki, the Olympic champion from 1988. And then wearing what often to me looks like a, a former USSR strip, but in fact is the Australian Institute of Sport, Sean Crichton, the Australian record holder for the steeple. Not picked for the Olympic Games, but uh, broke the Australian record. There he is, 138, Sean Crichton. Broke the Australian record for the chase December last year. But as that's around 8.20, he's got to really step up a gear to challenge these men. The season's leader in the steeplechase is the Italian Alessandro Lamboschini with 8 minutes 17.54 from that Rome Golden Gala. And with an eye on the clock. As they go through, looking for the next, the second kilometer, Lambroschini went through that in 5 minutes 39.02. Still Couton from Jankowski, Zahere of Morocco. Patrick Sang, Julius Kariuki, Sean Crichton, Australia. Graham Fell, formerly of Essex Beagles in Britain. Long-time resident and runner for Canada. Just going to the barrier now, Graham Fell. Well, Jankowski in front, Zahere, tracking him from Morocco. Patrick Sang, Julius Kariuki. Graham Fell, Sean Crichton. In the past, some athletes have got into the steeple thinking it was a soft event. They soon found out it wasn't. Nor is this, the long jump. World record holder, Mike Powell. His last jump. That uh, indication is referring to the steeplechase. Four laps remaining in the steeple. Mike Powell, his last jump of the evening. He leads with 8 meters 42 from the Cuban, Ivan Pedroso, with 8.28. Mike Connolly, the Olympic triple jump champion, is third. But here's Powell. And he got that one together better. And he likes this play acting bit. He knows it's not anything like 8 meters 95, his world record, but uh, he likes to please the crowd. He had trouble early on fouling on the board, not getting the technique right. Oh, and he, he was a chancer there. 
just by a millimetre. 8 metres 50. Well, that's solidified his win. 8 metres 50 for power to win from Pedroso of Cuba, 8.28. Mike Conley, 8.16. Eric Valder, 8.13 from the USA. But here's the steeple at the bell. Sean Crichton of Australia leads. Patrick Sang, 2-2-1 of Kenya. Olympic silver medalist. Abdelaziz Zahere of Morocco, third. Julius Kariuki, former Olympic champion, fourth. They're stretching out, but Crichton is really putting the boot in here. This Australian is making a reputation for himself. A best of 8.20, 37 last year. Pushing it, pushing it. But Sang and Sahare come through. Graham Fell and Kariuki behind them. Abdelaziz Sahere poised. Stutters a little at that last barrier. Patrick Sang makes the effort, but Sahere should have got this. Moroccan takes it. 8 minutes 15 26 for Sahere. Abdelaziz Sahari of Morocco, Patrick Sang, Olympic silver medalist from Kenya, 8.15.94. Sean Crichton smashes the Australian national record, 8 minutes 16.22. Graham Fell of Canada, a good run from the veteran, 8.17.30. Julius Kariuki of Kenya, 8.19.72. South African, Wadan Nivot, their top man, 8.26.31. Quite a long way behind, that's him, Nivot, wearing 2.42. And the man who really made that was Sean Crichton. He's entitled to bend over and look tired. But Abdelaziz Sahere of Morocco in the blue, he had it made, really. Once Crichton had burst away and just didn't have that edge of finishing speed, looking around from either side, knows that Patrick Sang has got to do something really special to get at him. He's got it. And that's a fine win for Abdelaziz Sahere, the best steeplechase in the world this year. Beating by around two seconds the 8.17 of the Italian Lamborghini. As Stuttgart and the World Championships approach, well, the Kenyans, you can be sure, will have a fearsome challenge. But the other countries showing that they're no walkovers either. And if that was a surprise, the biggest surprise of the evening, defeat in the pole vault for Sergei Bubba. To look at that race.